What's going on guys? All muscle. Signing back in here for you. Let me show you what I'm working on today. Uh, this is the Boss 302 engine. Uh, this is the original motor that came in my 302. Uh, of course we bought another vehicle uh, and uh, in order to fix that one uh, quickly we basically bought another vehicle uh, which was a, another Boss 302. It was a 13 model. This one here is a 12. Uh, 22,000 mile engine. Dropped it right in. Car's perfect again. So anyways, um, this is the uh, original block to that car. Uh, and if you had followed my videos, uh, I had showed you the crank. Got a little bit of uh, wear on it. And we don't want to cut it. So we're going to throw that in the pile in the back. Uh, and then see if uh, we ended up uh, using it down the road. If not, you know, whatever happens, happens. But anyways, we got a brand new crank uh, from Ford. This is the forged uh, piece that comes original to the Boss 302. We had the block checked out at the machine shop. Make sure none of the cylinders uh, bores were out around. Uh, and then we had the uh, the same machine shop uh, honed them out for us. So and then they, uh, you know they hot tanked it, cleaned it up, so it looks nice and nice and fresh all over again. So give you a little shot, kind of kind of dark. Let's see if I can turn on some lighting here. A little bit of lighting there. So yeah, there she is right there, nice and clean. I uh, got the crank in there. Uh, and then we also have the, uh, as you can see, we haven't put the main caps on, but I'm going to go over those here in, uh, with you in a second. So here are the uh, the mains. These are the main bearings. Uh, this set is uh, MS2292H. These are the high performance bearings. Uh, Ford puts a set of aluminum bearings in there. Uh, these ones are a tri-metal, a little bit more high-performance oriented uh, bearing. So we ran those instead of the original bearings. Also, what we have, as you can see in here, uh, these are the stud. This is a stud kit. This is the bottom end stud kit from ARP. Uh, and this is the set here. Well, this is for the 5-liter Coyote. Uh, so it'll work on, uh, I believe it'll work on all Coyotes. 156-5803. Uh, now, um, and then we have the main caps. And then some good old assembly lube. But anyways, <coughs> uh, they give you a nice little uh, tightening sequence here. Uh, you've got to modify the uh, standoff on the uh, oil pickup there. Uh, that shows you how to modify it, so you got to do some modification to that. Uh, and then also on this uh, setup here, this set of instructions, uh, it gives you the tightening sequence uh, uh, torque specs and then basically just the sequence, step one, two. Just follow the steps here, one, two, three, four. Uh, looks like. But anyways, uh, back to the uh, main caps here. There they are. Uh, now your main caps, uh, they're numbered. So you can see that one's got a, a clear stamp of a number one uh, and then a number two. Uh, so you're going to start number one at the forward-facing uh, forward part of the motor. So here is uh, essentially where your harmonic balancer would be. So number one would be here. Then you got number two, three, four, and five. Uh, and then basically what you do is you follow this arrow here to keep them uh, facing forward in the forward direction. You don't want to install it uh, like that, for example. So make sure you follow the arrows and everything will be just fine. Also, when you uh, install uh, the ARP, ARP bolts, you want just a little dab of oil. Not a lot of oil, just a little bit of a, of a, of a, little bit of a drop of oil uh, on, the, uh, on the thread there. Uh, if you put too much oil, you're going you're gonna to start uh, making a, a little air pocket in there, and that's not good. So just a tiny bit of oil just so that the uh, the uh, metal on aluminum doesn't go on uh, dry because uh, again this uh, block came back from the machine shop so this it was completely clean degreased and it was uh, very uh, very very clean so uh, you don't want to put the uh, metal in there dry so and then uh, ARP says to just go ahead and put these in and hand tighten them or you can opt to put thread locker down here uh, in, in inside here and then make them a permanent part of the block uh, which I didn't opt to do I kept them uh, just on the hand tight that one's a little tight, let's see. The block is in my way, or the crank is in my way. But yeah, I just hand tighten these. No, at least I can. Here we go. There's one. Can't get this one back to back on. Anyways, uh, and then as you can see, the crank the crank comes already polished. Uh, but we went another level of polish on it. Uh, we took it to the next level. There's a little bit of assembly on there. But uh, you can see the journals, super high polish. And the way we did that was. Let's see if I got the little deal here. Yeah, here we go. 
So this was for the mains. Obviously, this is a bigger, uh, thicker rag, but we use one about uh, half as narrow for the mains. Uh, and then we just use this compound here. Uh, they uh, went all makes a red uh, compound, uh, which is a little more aggressive. And then uh, we hit it with that first, and then we uh, final uh, polished it with this uh, blue went all, bring it uh, as high as uh, polished as we could. So, anyways, uh, that's all done. We got the uh, as you can see in here, we've got a uh, main bearing already sitting in there with some assembly lube. I like to use assembly lube. Uh, a lot of people, um, a lot of people will just use oil, but uh, I feel the assembly lube gives you a little bit more of a buffer, uh, a little more barrier, a little bit, uh, I don't know, a little, a little, another leg to stand on actually. Uh, it helps out. I think it helps out. I, I've never uh, put an engine together with oil. I've always used assembly lube, uh, but people, people do. People put it together with just oil. But I think I, I just feel a little a little more cozy with the assembly loop. As you can see, she's all cleaned up. Uh, so anyways, what we're going to do with this bottom end here, we're just going to uh, build a nice rotating assembly. The block uh, uh, from Ford comes with a forged crank, which is that one over there. That's the original. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, the pistons are forged, but the rods are not. So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to uh, remedy that. We're just going to use the uh, original pistons which are already, uh, already forged units and they're already in, uh, they're in nice condition. Uh, this is a brand new crank. Uh, and then we have a set of manly rods to top that off on the way instead of using the po uh, powdered uh, metal rods. Uh, but basically what we're gonna do when we get the rod and piston uh, assemblies together, we're gonna get them uh, together uh, and then we're gonna uh, weigh each one of them and then uh, we're gonna balance them all out uh, before we put them in. So uh, anyways, uh, we're not going to put them on the crank and have them rotate. Uh, I've seen people where they uh, put them on the crank and they have a machine shop and they do all that. Uh, we don't have that capability here, but uh, the way we're going to do it is basically uh, we're going to take the piston and rod assembly. We're going to take the highest weighing one uh, and the lowest weighing one, uh, and then basically we're going to meet them uh, right in the middle there because obviously the lowest weighing one, we can't take any, any weight or we, we wouldn't take any weight off of it. We would take the weight off of the ones that have uh, more weight. So uh, we can't add weight to the lowest weighting one, I, I should say. So uh, we're gonna take the assemblies, whatever they weigh, and then bring them all uh, within the same uh, within the same gram weight. So anyways, that's how we're gonna balance it anyway. Uh, that should be pretty interesting. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna uh, put this together here where it's getting a little dark on us. We're gonna put these caps on today. And then uh, after that, we're gonna wait. Uh, we're gonna wait for the manlies to come in and then uh, we'll deal with that uh, that procedure when the time comes. One more quick one over over the top here. Oh yeah, on these Boss 302s, uh, the oil squirters, which are down there, uh, they had block uh, block off plates. MMR actually sells uh, a nice set of block off plates, uh, but since this one already had uh, the factory original uh, block off plates uh, for the oil passages, the oil squirters, these are the piston oil cooling uh, jets that they would go uh, right in there, right in that block off area there but we opted to not have that so um yeah we'll just do it that way anyways guys uh that's what i'm working on for today uh we still got a bunch of shit going and everything else is going on uh still just the same so anyways we'll t uh, we'll check in with you on the next one guys be cool be safe and we'll check you uh check you out on the next one take care